everybody, here we are, Joshua, for another exciting time in downtown Minneapolis. We're at a new location called Minnehaha Falls. This is really where it all began in my thought life and what I really felt about this place. So here it is, the everlasting overflow of water. Where does it come from? It will always be there forever and ever and ever, regenerating itself. And so we set up shop over nearby Salt Sea, a seafood eatery. It's an absolutely gorgeous day on Monday, June 10, day of your Lord, 2019. So we're gonna see how things go today. Can't expect anything less than adult, mature, non-ridiculing conversations, of course. So, and then we'll just roll from there, right? Right on down to Concave Earth. Have a nice afternoon. See you soon. Bye. Uh, well, it's a table set up to talk about topics going on in the world. Yeah. yeah what do you think? I have no idea. You don't know? Can I sit down? Of course you can. Yeah. You want a water? Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. Just kind of setting up shop right now. You're making a something? <laughs> yeah. I go on YouTube. You ever go on uh, the YouTubes? No, I don't. No? Okay. What is it that you do around here? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> yeah, fair <Are> enough. <clears throat> so what's up? What do you what do you wanna what's on your mind? What do you want to chat about? Eternity. Who? Eternity. Eternity. Interesting. I think the earth goes on infinitely forever and people don't agree with that. So I don't think humans are ready for eternity yeah. and forever. Are you ready for infiniteness and eternity? Yeah. Why is that? Why do you think you're ready and everyone else around here isn't? I'm a child of Christ. Okay. Yeah. So how are you the light of the world and the salt of the earth? How do you convey Christ through your lifestyle without actually saying you're a follower of Christ? I don't know. I just believe in Christ. Okay. So he's like your golden ticket into heaven is what you're saying, basically. Oh, so how would anybody know the testimony that you give on a regular basis that there's yeah. something different about you than everybody else? Because that's why they crucified Christ is because his works yeah. testified against this place yeah. and they didn't like that. Right. That's probably why they don't like me. Okay, well I asked you, like, so what do you do? What do you do that they don't like you? Uh, they attack me because I'm a Christian. Okay. Do they know you're a Christian? I don't know. Hmm. So, how would they? How would they? Why would they attack you for being a Christian if they don't know you're a Christian? I don't know. Hmm. Right on. Do you come around the area here often? Yeah, pretty often. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So where are you putting the, the, the world into perspective, the earth into perspective? Or? Yeah, I'm just kind of really simplifying it for people because they have this idea that they live here on this ball earth mm -hmm. that they've never seen before with their own eyes. Have you ever seen the earth like from this perspective and outer space with your own eyes before? No. Okay. What do you think about the moon landings? I wasn't either, yeah. But the story is, right, 12 astronauts or disciples landed on the moon and came back with a fantastic story about how they walked around on it, right? And then the majority of people believe it. Some people say, oh, I don't know if it did or didn't happen, but then there's a small group of people that don't at all believe it, and then they call, get called names, like we're in a cult or something. So did you... Uh, in my opinion, no offense, people that believe they live here on this ball earth yeah. convey that with their testimony and how they convey their ridicule towards me, that they immediately have to start defending government about where they live even though they've never seen it before. And that's really no different than a Mormon or a Scientologist leaving the church that they're part of and telling everybody that John Smith is a polygamist, right? So if I, if I leave that cult, right, if I leave the Mormon church and I start telling other fellow members of the Mormon church that, hey, you know, I've looked into some information about this belief that I was born into, 
and I don't believe it anymore because of such and such information that was presented to me, they start ridiculing that person and then they ostracize them and sometimes they even gang stalk them. And that's kind of like where I'm at. I used to believe that I lived on a ball earth in outer space, well, but I didn't really trust you, the moon landing. Where do you think you live now? <clears throat> oh, well, like I said, a level non-rotating plane that, in my opinion, goes on infinitely forever and ever and ever. Yeah. Yeah, why not? You don't live on Earth? This is Earth, yeah. yeah. But what if land, water, and resources go on infinitely forever? And you're just familiar with the seven continents that you're told about in school. Mm -hmm. So in your mind, you just think that there's just seven continents and maybe some islands here and there, right? Yeah. That you're probably never going to go to, right? But that's tangible. You can go to these countries if you and I had were given a couple thousand dollars, right? We could fly there and vacation and stuff like that. The country, <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't prove it's a ball. What does it prove it is? That me means that there's just a lot of land mass. Yeah. yeah. So you don't believe that the world is a ball? Why would I believe something I've never seen before? I can choose not to believe that, right? I can choose to come out and express my opinion about that, can I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, do you ever? I'm sure you're, you're around here often, right? Yeah, pretty often. So you've been around the block a few times. It looks like. Yeah. No offense. Looks like. Looks like. Thank you for the comment. <laughs> do I look? Do I look that ugly or old? Or no, I mean I don't look 38. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. Kinda. Okay. Yeah. Um. Anyways. So you've been around water enough in your life, right? Yeah. You've probably seen a lake, a pond, an ocean, and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. So water always lays level and flat when contained and not moving. So how is it that water can all of a sudden then bend to make a ball in outer space that you've never seen before? Well, God does that. We don't. Okay. Is gravity God? Yeah. Okay, I can't at all agree with that, but that's your opinion, I guess. Where did you, who did you hear that from? That's what I believe. You weren't taught or told that ever in your life about gravity? Or you just came up with gravity on your own? Yeah, that was something that you could physically, in your mind, tangibly understand what gravity is without education? You just came up uh, with that idea I, of your I, own? I have education. Okay, yeah. So, so you didn't come up with the idea of gravity on your own. You were taught it. God creates the heavens and the earth and everything in it. Yeah, everything was made by him and for yeah, him. And for yeah. Him, yeah. Yeah. So but what, again, you've what, never what, seen the ball of earth from outer space what, what before. What can I take from God that, that's his? I'm sorry? What can I take from God that's his? Oh, absolutely nothing. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. He can offer you things, right? Things are here for you to take, right? In regards to like water, which we have to pay for, uh, parking and space, of which we have to pay for that were taxed extra for. Like I had to pay a dollar fifty to to park in this parking lot. And that was only for an hour. So so, you, so taxes for people in Minnesota <laughs> taxes and for people in Minnesota are being paid for, right? Mon uh, every April. But then they come to the enjoy the Minnehaha Falls and the par city right, parks, right. public parks. Right. And then they design a specific area for people to park and they don't say, hey, you know what? This is just gonna be free parking. We're just gonna let you come and enjoy the day. You know, if you could limit it within two hours, you know, I mean, let's be reasonable, right? I mean, let's try to allow other people to park, right? But why do you have to charge people money? And that's the type of spirit that we live amongst with. I, I don't charge people to park. Yeah, I wouldn't either, personally. But I guess it goes back to the whole gravity thing, you know, like water doesn't bend. You've never seen it bend. Yeah, I have. That's cute. Yeah, the waterfall. Yeah, yeah we, we already established earlier that water, when contained, it lays level and flat and stagnant. Yeah. So a pond, a lake are just vernacular and nomenclature for a body of water, right? I don't know how to answer that. I don't know either, man. I'm just here to provoke thought and talk. Yeah. You want to talk or? I was just wondering, I thought you, you knew the answer to everything. Oh, well, no, I don't. Even if I did, I, I, that wouldn't be very fun, I guess, for me. Um, I don't think enough people who do know a lot of stuff would share that information. 
and they charge you for it, like education. So you have to pay for knowledge nowadays, and I don't agree with that. I'm here freely on my own time, and I offer free water, free DVDs, information, some red pill Pez. Red pill what? Oh, yeah. These things. Yeah, and then, and then I go home. So I don't charge people for the knowledge that I have. <clears throat> you think you have a lot of knowledge? I could ramble on with a, somebody else for probably three or four hours, and it would be like we ended up in some kind of a quote black hole, where yeah. time would escape, and then we would realize it's like two in the morning. Yeah, I wouldn't do it here with these un believably annoying bugs <laughs> I can't sit here for two minutes without getting attacked by gnats I mean yeah, I know it's it. it's kind of ridiculous but you got to press through right yeah. you know regardless of the circumstances and things trying to get after you when you do share certain things that would go against common narrative you just press through man yeah common narrative would be man landed on the moon vaccines are okay it's okay to abort children. You live on a spinning ball in outer space and everything okay that the news says children? is true. You think it's okay to abort children? The world does, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you don't. Yeah. No, not at all, absolutely not. No. The only, no, I guess from my opinion, and then I'll probably, I've never shared this before, this will probably anger a lot of people, but unless it literally has to do with life or death with the mother, um, you would always save the mother. And then yes, he would abort the child because then the child would be instantaneously in the presence of the father and he would understand the circumstances. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, that's just my opinion though, right? But any kind of a rape or anything like that, I don't think so. Hi. Nobody turned in this car calls to I didn't see anybody. Okay. No. Just some, like, trash. Yeah, Does sure. I hope somebody, I hope you find it. I hope so too. Yeah, have a nice day. Bye. Here on mm -hmm. Just hanging out? I'm a veteran. You're a veteran? Okay. Army. <laughs> what, uh, did you go in combat, battle? Did you go overseas? Anything like that? I stayed pretty much stateside battle. Stateside. Okay. Stateside battle. Not a whole lot of battles went on here in America yeah, in the last 50 years or so, I guess. Yeah, they did. Like with guns and stuff? Yeah, with guns and stuff. Yeah. Okay, could you give me a couple examples? What? Give me a couple examples of the United States military shooting other countries in our country. Well, when Cuba and uh, Puerto Rico came over to Fort Drum, yeah, we had that. Okay, yeah, fair enough. But that's not the United States 48 state continental United States, is this it? This is the United States. Yeah, so let's say that this is the 48 states, not counting Alaska and Hawaii, right? Just because this is the bigger land mass, okay? So I don't, I don't really think that that's the United States personally. Puerto Rico and Cuba and all that stuff. It's westernized, sure. It's becoming Americanized, but that's American culture. When people think of America, they usually think of Caucasians. Fair enough? They don't really think of American culture. Right. Yeah. American culture is a cancer. Yeah. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. So when you, do you throw all of your cigarette butts on the floor, on the ground of your earth that you live on? Yeah, you see. Yeah. So you just don't give a rip about littering or how you treat the earth or anything like that? Not really. Hmm. All right, well, I'd encourage you to just maybe pray about that, of how you treat the earth. And I mean, you claim you testify to be a follower of Christ, right? Hopefully, yeah. Okay, I don't think that he would be very encouraged by you just flippantly throwing things on the ground. Are you serious, dude? I'm just saying, I'm, that's my opinion, right? You know, what do I know? So what do you want me to flip on the ground? Spit? Spit. Yeah, I spit on the floor, on the ground. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't throw plastic or things that don't biodegrade on the ground, personally. Yeah, like the plastic fork behind you that somebody threw on the ground. That won't biodegrade. That'll be there forever and ever. So somebody would have to physically pick that up and throw it in the trash, whether you choose to recycle it or not. But... 
Is there not a dispensary for cigarettes around here? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm sorry, maybe I chose the wrong wording. Is there not like a special spot to put cigarettes, you know, because there's ash and they're on fire and stuff. You don't want to start a fire by throwing it in a garbage can, right? But you certainly could probably start something if you threw it on the ground and we didn't have any rain. Start what, a fire? With a cigarette butt, I mean, you could, right? Only Smokey says only you can prevent forest fires. But I think most of the forest fires are controlled by the government. But what do I know? You like to talk a lot of shit, don't you? Uh, I have pretty good discernment on what I say, yeah. yeah. And I feel I can speak freely. Yeah. yeah. If somebody doesn't like it, they can come and beat me up or kill me on camera or whatever they choose to do. Arrest me. I don't care. I'm here to share information openly that is discussed online yeah. and it seems to be an echo chamber online and people are afraid and they've gotten so used to texting and talking on their phones that face-to-face -face communications when presented to them like here uh, is challenging because they're not used to co having conversations with other people who aren't their friends or family where are you from dude <coughs> i was born in born and raised in minnesota yeah. So I feel I have a particular relationship with the people here. I can relate to them, you know. We have two seasons here, winter and road construction. And when it is nice, you got bugs and wind. So. Have a good day. Thanks, man. What's your name? Bye. All right, there it is, folks. As you can see, I'm doing all this sign language. You know, like I'm in baseball or something. There's all these bugs everywhere. So I'm trying to keep my cool, you know, while I'm talking to people, but it is quite um, noticeable that there are bugs everywhere right now so we will hope for some more engagements with people he seems like um, he might not have a permanent residence I'll just put it that way uh, but so yeah we're hanging out here here we are just right by this building here and then that's where I did the intro right over there, where the waterfall is. So, here we go. Hi there. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you today? I, might, I don't like these two. <laughs> <laughs> How Why is that? You, you know what you should do? Because they're flat. Yeah, interesting. You know what you should do is walk barefoot. Oh my God, I feel like I'm barefoot. Yeah. Did you know, you know what earthing is? Yeah. What is that? My son is like so into that. What is it? Is it ground you walk on? Yeah, yeah, barefoot, walking barefoot, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. think that they've designed shoes rubber because they don't want us connecting to the earth anymore? No, yeah, it just might be a... my feet. I mean, just in general though, do you think that that's why they have us put plastic shoes on so we don't have a relationship with the ground anymore? Oh, uh, maybe, huh? I'm just, you know, something to think about. Okay, but yeah. they're about to leave me. Oh, they uh, won't leave you, I'm sure of it. Um, I do have a card. I'd love for you just to take it and share with your family and maybe your son. Yeah. Awesome. Joseph. He's, uh, he's in the house. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, if I was here promoting homosexuals and transgender, that would be okay? Okay, even though there's no scientific evidence to show a boy can be a girl when they're younger, right? Okay. When you have a thought that's not ridicule, come back and talk to me. What do you think about flat earth? Well, I present the question. Oh, so, but what does it mean? What, is, what do people say, what does that mean? 
Yeah, usually, I mean, that's a good start, right? Rather than call me an idiot or science or stuff like that. I don't know which side you're on when you do that. I mean, you could be a Christian side. You could be a Jehovah's Witness and just getting a response from people so you can tell them about Jehovah's Witnesses. I mean, if you want to assume that, yeah, but I am presenting a question, right? And I'm saying, what do you think about Flat Earth? I, I think that uh, it's it's whatever you want to think, you know? It's, it's like... I have no proof one way or the other of anything. Okay, so, but just in general though, right? Would you say, could I... I about bail, you know, how did you get that term in there? Could I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. Could I just ask you, like, you probably believe you live here though, right? It doesn't matter what I believe. Okay, um, do you believe in the moon landing? Like people man landed on the moon? I'm engaging with him, okay? Sorry. Yeah. Do you? I'm engaging with him, so I'd love to talk to you in a minute. Um, so you came up, so in general, like, most people would think that the Earth is a ball in outer space, right? They have been taught that in science classes, yeah. Okay. I would say that the majority of, like, the population come up to me, and they would believe that these are actual images of Earth from outer space, even though they've never seen this before from their own perspective on outer space. And so what I do is I just present these pictures to them and I just present that as you know evidence to say like well you've never seen the earth from outer space before so how is that any different than for example you brought up the whole uh, faith thing Jesus walking on water and you've never seen that before right I brought that up well you brought up the Jehovah Witnesses and stuff and like that yeah as an example yeah and I'm bringing this up an example too as an example of something but I mean Kind of lost me. She, she was kind of yeah, she she just isn't ready. That's fine. I mean, my question regarding quote unquote religions had to do with Baal. Mm -hmm. That that's mentioned in the Bible. As, yeah, it uh, is. As one of the gods, and there's probably many names for Baal. Are you know any of the other names for Baal? Yeah, Lucifer, Satan. Oh. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, what I think... And what you know are two different things, yeah, right? Very much. Yeah? What, what about, what do you know in your heart for sure that water does when it's contained and stagnant and not moving? Only what it does to my system personally. And what would that be? I don't know. I've never really had a say. It comes out as puke or as bad shit or something. Well, usually when you drink too many beers from your eatery here, that could happen. Yeah. 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 But usually water, when contained, lays level and flat, huh? When it finds its level? It finds its own level. I, that is a, an axiom of science. Okay. Um, <clears throat> is that something that we all as human beings can objectively see in reality? In this gravity that we are under, yeah. Okay. So then, with your term gravity, gravity is able to turn then water to bend and create a ball in outer space, right? I don't know this. Well, that's what they teach kids in school. It doesn't mean that I know it. Okay, well, that's what they teach children in school, and that's what the general population yeah, believes right now. Yeah, I can agree with you on that. Yeah, I get, I get ridiculed and mocked about me presenting um, information like this, but if I was here to support gay pride this month, People would be giving me high fives. Don't worry. Don't take it so personal. I'm just, I mean, your terms are very much out there on, you know, Etcon, whoever, YouTube, you know, I mean, you find stuff on that every day with theorists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you saying you go on YouTube sometimes? I do watch the theorists just to okay. get an idea of what we're talking about. Sure, I'd love to. Get your opinion on what I talk about. I have about 260. I might have seen you on there. Yeah. I have about 260 videos doing this uh, at Lake Calhoun, Minneapolis, the university, and so on. I mean, if, if you know something good for you, you know, it's like if you're trying to spread the word to people, good for you. Thanks, man. You know, if it's all peaceful stuff that you, you know, really want in your heart to do, you know, it's like. Uh, as part of your day-to-day -day existence, this is what you're doing. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things 
I uh, think about it, but it doesn't mean that just because I thought of that that's what they must be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything that you think about or that you've learned that is like, gosh, you know, the American public should really learn more about this topic? Science, uh, that she was hollering about, she was very close to the truth of talking about pendulum swings, which is a, a starting point for uh, perpetual motion, which is uh, if you could apply any of that to uh, gyroscopes, you can fly. Yeah. Foucault's pendulum <clears throat> isn't been proven, and you actually have to move that pendulum first. That's the same with all perpetual motion. You gotta move it first. Yeah, so a human being has to move it. The yeah, earth does not move. It is, move it is, the earth is water, immovable. Water can move it because it's already there. If you know how to make that start it. Mm hmm. If you um, run out of water, you're done. Yeah, could I finish my thought here real quick? Um, Foucault's pendulum or the Einsteinian idea of creating a gyroscope that's separate from the ether and the earth moving itself cannot be created. There's no instrument that could be made to measure the earth's rotation. So to assume that the sun is stationary and the earth is rotating around it, that's a presupposition given to you by man. So getting back to gyroscopes where I started, Mm -hmm. Okay. Has that ever been in your science book? Yeah. I, I read the same scriptures that everybody else here read when I was in school. I mean, seminary. Oh. Yeah. I'm saying, has it ever been in your science teachings? In regards to what? Say again? Physics. Using gyroscopes to fly. Yeah. The gyroscope is an artificial horizon, right? It's like a spinning top. Yep. Uh, and then to to reset it, pilots have to start it before they start to fly. They reset it so that it's level with their airplane. The only thing they use gyroscopes for now is for that. Yeah, and actually pilots don't even know how to fly anymore because it's all automated. So at no point has it ever been measured that you have to tilt the nose down 60 to 70 miles, every 60 or 70 miles, to adjust for earth curvature. It's always straight and horizontal. I think about, and that's something that changes my thoughts every day is flying. And that, that's part of it, where flying with those gyroscopes was possible to a guy who had his idea erased from history and from science work. Who's that? Everybody knows me. Yeah, right. These things, all those things I think about. Yeah. I read it. I don't believe everything I read. That's why it doesn't matter what I do believe. Mm -hmm. But you, but you don't, you don't have anything that you feel is knowledge that you would feel pressed to share with the public, like set up a table and all that for. No. Okay. I do this with this guy in a second. Okay. The words that I believe in. The words are just words. I, I, my words are pretty hollow in a way that they, they just me that people wouldn't really, I mean, if they resonate with somebody, great. Yeah. I'm better one on one. I feel the same way. I feel like my message resonates with certain people and it doesn't with others. And that's how you just. First, it has to resonate with yourself all the time, every day. Yeah. So you get up and you know who you are. Mm -hmm. Do you have your uh, harmonica available? I'd love for you to do us a little ditty. No, no, no. I'm going to listen to him and plays with this all the time. So okay. I never pull him up. Okay. So, thanks for the job. Man. Yeah, have a nice day. I'll see you soon, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Good luck with spreading your word. Thank you, sir. Have fun playing music. All right. Here's the eatery line. It's about 5.30. Quite a line. There's some decent food in there. It does smell delish right now. I'm tempted to go inside and see what they have to offer, but 
No, no, that would keep me away. Can't keep me away from what I'm doing here. Right? What'd you get at the eatery? Oh, this is not from the eatery. Oh, just popcorn. You brought your own stuff to the movie theater? That's a. Yeah, yeah you're not. <laughs> right on. Have a good day. Thanks, man. You too. I got LASIK when I was about 26 or 27. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Fine, thanks. That's awesome. How are you enjoying the weather? Fantastic. Yeah, it's great, huh? Can about the weather? Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Do you have any questions or curiosities? Uh, you seem like a reasonably intelligent man. I'm just, uh, just on my way home. Sure, yeah. No, I'm not waiting in line here. I know, right? On my commute. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll be premiering a video tonight at 9 p.m. on my YouTube channel, Authentic Intent. I encourage you just to listen in. All right. No big deal, right? You know, gotta... And you got some pens, too. Yeah, go for it, man. That's a red pill. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Have a nice day. Bye. So nice. Anyway, just you know, there's no reason not to take the information. I mean, at least take it and then out of my sight, throw it away. <laughs> you know, but so many people just tear it up right in front of me, and I'm just like, really? Like, that's not productive. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. You know Thanks. What you're all about. I'm just looking at. Signs while I wait for the line. So. Yeah, why not, right? I yeah. mean, there's, you know, so I got this little guy here, okay. and I'm actually premiering a video okay. later tonight at nine. I'd love for you just to come by and have a listen. Okay. Um, come by, meaning where? Like, on where's YouTube. That? Oh, okay. Yeah. YouTube okay. channel. Yeah. yeah. Right. Authentic intent. It's on the bottom of that okay. guy. Um, have you ever heard any or seen anybody actually come out and talk about Flat Earth before? Is it no, kind of... Um, I mean, just like obliquely, not really, yeah. 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 When you think of the Earth being flat, like instead of a ball in outer space, what would what comes to mind first for you? I would say maybe what we see versus what we deduce. Um, like we obviously see things in two dimensions mm -hmm. because yeah. as, long, as, you know, as far as we stare out, we see two dimensions, but... You know, yeah. we can deduce that there's more than that based on the sun, based on astronauts, like any number of things. Like, there's any number of things that would tell us that it's not, but it's mm. sort of maybe like, think of like climate change, right? It's like weather versus climate. Like, we see the weather, but climate is a pattern that's different. So, okay. it's what we see versus what we extrapolate. Okay. Yeah. Could I um, help you understand where I'm coming from? Sure. Most people, sudden, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Most people, when they think of flat Earth, they think of a disk floating in outer space like this. Right. You know what I mean? And then they're like, well, where's the edge? Water's gonna fall off and whatever. Okay. What, okay, so now that we're on the flat earth idea, right? So the earth is flat, just humor me, right? Would you um, feel more comfortable saying the earth is a disc floating in outer space or it goes on infinitely forever and the sky has a ceiling and it goes on infinitely forever? Or is it a disc like a snow globe floating in outer space? What do you think between those two options? I don't think I understand the metaphor exactly. Maybe. Okay, most people when they say f when I say flat Earth, mm -hmm. instead of a ball floating in outer space, like you've always seen this right sure, sure. here in this image, they set, they replace it with a frisbee okay. instead of a ball. Okay. So we have a geometric shape, which is a round disc, right? So is a round disc flat, right, and level, or? Or I'm presenting you with another flat earth idea where the land, water, and, re and resources go on infinitely forever and ever. Okay. Which one of those two options would you feel flat earth would be if it were flat? Uh, well, certainly the first. I mean, the idea certainly. of like infinite, infinite, um, infinite expansion of the earth in two dimensions just doesn't make sense. Like, then how would you circumnavigate the planet? Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Those are really good questions. Yeah. Um, is it is it somewhat true, just from our personal education, that they teach us that outer space is ever expanding and it may go on infinitely? Yes. Okay. Even though you can't verify that yourself, right? Right. Okay, so you can't verify me saying the land and water go on infinitely forever either, can you? Personally, no. Okay. Empirically, I think yes, I can. Okay, I how would say, how would you go about doing that? Do you yeah, happen we to can know? say like satellites rotate the Earth, astronauts have rotated the Earth, the Sun, you know, rotates the Earth, you know, spins around. 
revolves around, and we see the sun come up and come down and through cycles and the axis of the Earth, you know, changes the day length and whatnot. Um, but I think there's empirical evidence that there's not an infinity of uh, two dimensions, you know, okay. onward and onward. The, the, horizon, the horizon ends. The horizon is, is, is circular. So Okay, so anytime the horizon is ending in your perspective, that's the curvature of the Earth, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you happen to know the dimensions of your ball Earth you feel you live on? Um, again, I mean, this is... So uh, the argument in a way becomes more what do we trust versus what do we base only on our personal you know, observation. But I mean, it's about 26,000 miles in circumference. Yeah, I'll give you that. Sure. Yeah. 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 If we were playing Price is Right or something like that, you would have gone over. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's roughly that. And then the dimension in regards to the radius is about 4,000 miles. Do you feel like a geometric shape, like a sphere, knowing the dimensions of it, you could come up with a curvature calculation and find out what the drop off of said ball is? Um, again, explain to me what you're saying. I, yeah, I, I so, get, so like the math I get, like I get, you know, do you pi times the pi times the, pi times the diameter is the is the circumference. Mm -hmm. So if it's you know four thousand, eight thousand, twenty four thousand, roughly. Yeah. So I mean, I get that part, but okay. What do you mean to drop off? Yeah. So over a distance, over a body of water, mm -hmm. specifically a body of water, because we can manipulate terrain and the land and stuff, mm -hmm. and make mountains, peaks, plateaus, and valleys, right? Okay. But water always lays level and flat. So if we were to take an observation from one point on a shoreline and observe an object in the distance over a body of water, mm -hmm. there should be a drop off of even just 10 miles should be almost 70 feet. It's actually 66.68 feet. Okay. So that means that you're standing here at the tangent point, right? Mm -hmm. And then that means that the body of water has to gradually bend like that. But it does. I mean, if you've been up in a plane, like over the ocean, or if you've been like on a super high mountain peak or something, looking out, like I think of Colorado or something, where you're looking off towards Kansas, where mm -hmm. it's there is nothing to sort of break up the view or anything. Mm -hmm. um, you do see like a slight, and again, this is this is based only observationally, but you know, if I were to get out, uh, I don't know what the, the, the a ruler or spirit level, or something a sextant like that, or a, mm -hmm. or a surveying you know glass or something. Um, you can actually see like a little bit of a drop. And I think mm -hmm. Are you telling me that I can see it, or are you? presupposing you were born into this reality knowing the earth is a ball so your assumption is that yes that's curvature um, I think that's getting more philosophical and like that's getting into sort of like um, what's the uh, like solipsism or something where like you're getting into the sort of philosophical idea of like how can we know what we're perceiving unless we did, unless we somehow measure it, I mean, or verify it yourself, right? Yeah. So, is that science? Um, or is that, or, or what you're describing as scientism? Previously, what we were saying, because what you're describing is science, and science is observational, coming sure. up with a hypothesis, sure. and then you do your stuff, and then you give me your, the at least the papers that would say these are the resources and the materials and the mechanics of devices that I used okay. to then you, then I could do it and then verify your findings. Maybe a different question okay. would be um, if the earth is flat or spherical or let's say it's a toroid or whatever shape, yeah. what does that change for us? I see where you're coming from. So you're not really interested in the mechanics and the maths that go along with your ball earth. You're just really curious about the psychology of why somebody would believe the earth is flat. Because you didn't answer my question. You actually like def deflected, and then now you're coming up with something that totally is basically off topic from what we were talking about. Because now you're asking for motive, right? And I don't know what somebody's motive is because I've never met them before. So how would I know what somebody's motive is when I'm not them? Well, then I guess I, I, would, I would ask what your motive is. Mm -hmm. I'm just here hanging out listening to music, and then I have okay. the information when they do come up. I share it, and then you can do your own research on your own time and then maybe we could have a conversation a few months from now after you have absorbed both sides of the story and then we could probably have more of um a conversation about that so yeah i mean you're not just listening to music yeah it's, it, i am actually just listening to music but you, but you, you want to spark a discussion so that's and that's totally sure. fine yeah i do um, but but in general the, the the point of me being here 
is to share the other side of the story because it seems like there's a lot of dogmatic ideas in the educational system right now where people don't verify the findings that they're told about dinosaurs and outer space and landing on the moon. They just take the word of school as if it's a church and then anybody who disagrees with the church or school, they get called names as if like I'm leaving a cult. And I don't think that's fair. I'm just well, presenting I haven't, both. I haven't leveled any epithets against you. I haven't called you any names or anything. I, I, I wasn't implying that. I'm just relaying the idea that that is what people think, like the gentleman behind you. He's totally disgusted with the idea and... I think you're crazy. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. I think like Seal said, um, we're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. So... Yeah, he's a black gentleman who sung Kiss from a Rose from the Batman movie back in the day. Yeah. So, anyways, um, water lays level and flat, and the only way it ever bends to make a ball is by gravity. And you can't demonstrate what gravity is, like the imaginary pulling of down of something, of why things fall. That's just nomenclature. Well, but by that same token, like, how does this work? How does this work? Like, any of the four fundamental forces, like, you can't demonstrate how electromagnetism works. The strong yeah, we can. force works. Yeah, we can. Then you Actually, can demonstrate how gravity works. No, you can't. Yeah, the gravitational force what is, is the force? To, it's gravitational force is equal to the mass of the first object times the mass of the subject, second object times the gravitational constant, inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two. Like, you can, you can quantify it. So you just quoted Bible scripture, because math doesn't create reality. What bothers me is these are not photos. NASA has admitted that they're photoshopped. Yeah. So the composite. To me, that, that takes away their credibility. I don't believe them anymore. Yeah. I guess, I mean, it just it strikes me as a little bit of a, um, like a religious argument. I mean, whether you're agnostic or... This is a religious argument because yeah, but... people believe their education is God. And then when I challenge that, uh -huh. they say, how dare you? There's so many scientists and astronauts but 12 men landed on the moon and came back and testified about it, right? We can't verify their testimony by going up to the moon with our own resources. Only military and NASA can do that. Yeah. That's a religion because then you're about, like, you're Elon appeasing Musk, if, to authority. Elon Musk goes up and proves something different. Or... He's still a man being provided money by the government. I would encourage you to check that out. Yeah. He's getting money from the government. I actually don't doubt that, but so I, I just I guess Hypothetically, then, what if some independent person? What if you yourself were to? Win they won't allow it. Whatever. We're not. I'm not gonna. I don't do imagination anymore. I do objective reality, and I do have faith in certain things that I can't prove myself, right? right. Like a creator and whatnot. Okay. But objectively, we can know what's inside this speaker, and we can know what's inside my phone and how it was made. And you and I could make our own cell phones. Now, whether somebody wants to invest in our idea about making a cell phone, that's up to them. But then we can't verify going and landing anything like a RC car on Mars. So if you talk about having faith in a creator, how is that different from me having faith in the body of knowledge of science that the earth is spherical? Yeah, man, men lie. And they have motives. Okay, then, 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 the, then the, you talked about like quoting Bible, Bible scripture. Yeah. That's not dictated directly by God. That was interpreted by man. So if men lie, couldn't that also be a, a mistruth or a, a misinterpretation of the truth? Could be, totally. But I don't need a Bible or holy scriptures to tell me that a man can walk on water and live a perfect life. I, I can choose I to believe that. To sort of the, the ultimately, like, whether the earth is flat or spherical or, you know, whether it's shaped like a the Mobius strip or you know, whatever the shape is, what is the meaning, what does that change for our everyday, I mean, at the end of the day, like, yeah, we can walk forever and it'll seem two-dimensional. Does that change anything for us in our everyday life? That's up to you to decide, right? Yeah. You're not even here yet. So you, for me to convey what it has done in my life or for Lois to convey what it has done in her life. Yeah is totally separate from each individual person yeah. because most people when they say I am something how would you know unless they said that they're something right how, the only way that you would know is through their testimony of how they conduct their business behind closed doors sure. and in public sure. and so my testimony of doing this for the, almost the last two and a half years and having 260 videos on my YouTube channel doing this I hope at least that could convey how it's changed my life. Okay. 
and then you can roll with that, right? Because usually people want to know why something or someone is the way that it is. And then if it's something that resonates with them, they might want to emulate that, right? And so if you don't feel like you want to emulate my thoughts or who I am, I encourage you to investigate the evidence of Flat Earth first instead of the motives and why somebody would lie and the psychology of a crazy person thinking the earth is flat. That's all. Okay. Yeah. What's Fair your name? Brian. Joshua. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Maybe I'll see you, nice to meet you guys. at Lake okay. Calhoun or something. I go there yeah. too. Okay. Check out the city pages. I was in the city pages this morning. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, have a great night. It was good talking to you. Thanks, yeah. man. It's, it's always interesting. It's yeah, I appreciate you stopping. Yeah. You're, you're a nice man. I appreciate that. Bye.